to use your phone. Sure, okay, come in. Hey, dog. What dog? Brenda's poodle, Jack. He deserted me. I, I need to call my neighbor. The phone's right over there. Thanks. Jack's probably run home with his tail between his legs. He'd rather go deaf than here to call the wild. Have you ever had a dog who hated nature? I have horses. Any other dog loves to go on high. Not a damper poo. Hello. How? Steve. Hey, would you look across the street and see Jack's crying at the front door? I'm not at home. I lost him. Thanks. I'll well, hang on. You know, I think uh, I think Jack's had a harder time adjusting to Brenda's death than I have. She had a good dog. Yeah, he is. Nah, I thought so. Hey, uh, would you mind tossing him a bone now and again? Oh, and I'd appreciate it if you stick him in your backyard till I get back. I'm, I'm going to be gone for a few days, starting today. Okay, thanks. You know, the coffee's hot if you like to talk. No time, Tracy. I'm on foot today. I need to make as much distance as I can before it gets too hot. Where are you coming from? From town. You walked all the way from town? Yes. Uh, we left at about six. Jack deserted me at about seven. Uh, where are you going? To the city. The city is 75 miles away. Unless they moved it. <laughs> but what's up there? This weekend, they are commemorating the first anniversary of the first Summer of Love Festival. I'm, I'm walking and thumbing my way there. The pitch I feel is dangerous. I'm 64 years old, retired, recently widowed. I'm not going to spend the rest of my days breaking metamucil and stuffing fixed vapor rug up my nose. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to have fun and adventure. I was very sorry to hear about Brenda's passing. She was a nice woman. It's been about a year now, right? Exactly one year. I understand. I do. But don't let it make you act foolish. Try to say. Sounds boring. It's sensible, isn't it? I know a girl who was asked that same question by her mother. And that beautiful girl decided not to be sensible. And I'd like to think she never regretted that decision. I was young and dumb. You were 18 and full of life. That was a long time ago. I remember it like yesterday. You just graduated from high school. I was laid off at the factory. We spent the entire summer together. We had fun and we didn't worry about being sensitive. When my old VW wouldn't run, we decided to thumb our way to the first festival of life. No, I spent my time now focusing on the present. And not on the past. First time we kissed was at the festival. You ever think about that? We kissed and then you went away. I was trapped. Well, you stopped lying. Like a lot of other guys, I, I became a different person. You had to change and you were going to survive it now. You know, the war was in for two years, the army, and you were gone a lot longer than that. I, I went to live on an island in the Mediterranean. You should have come home. I, I was too scared of myself. I, I couldn't go home not that condition. You know when I ran into you that day when you came back? You did seem a little odd. I was in shock seeing you pregnant. You, you look very happy. I was very happy. A anyway, I, I, I need to get on the road. Uh, may I use your bathroom before I go? Down the hall, wait for some on the right. Thanks. Good morning, Barbara. Morning, Mom. Happy summer. Where's that granddaughter of mine? Emily's waiting in the car. We're on our way to buy some clothes for camp. Do you want to come along? I have unexpected company. Really? Who? Stephen Wood. Where is he? In the bathroom. Mom, you're here to catch. Oh, don't start that again. He's nice looking, about your age. Widows like you. I can use someone's instruction company for a lot of money. I have my own money and I don't need anyone else's. Okay, good point. But that's been going for five years. Don't you get lonely living out there by yourself? Not with the horses. <laughs> it's 
God would want you to remarry. You know, a man is a lot of work, and then he leaves you. <laughs> Mostly I thought of you. I wondered if you ever did. 